Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Goddess, the RPG Maker game that was made by a friend of mine. This is probably going to be the last installment of this, not necessarily this episode, but this set, uh, because as far as I know, that friend is pretty much, um, is pretty much done. Ha ha ha! All stacked up. It's pretty much done working on this. So, uh, let's just take a chance to check where the hell I was when I stopped. Nope, that's the wrong button. Also, you're gonna hear some keyboard clocks uh, clocking in this. So, you know, uh, yeah. Okay, um, equipment. Right, you know, whatever. Gak! This storm is dreadful! I'm completely soaked. Let's find the ship at once. I don't remember what voice I gave to anyone. Bit of a frenzy, eh? Oh? Okay, so... Gotta find the captain. Out of the way, he'll flee us alive if we don't. Okay, then. How do I, uh... There we go. That's the run. They run, Bhutan. A statue? That sounds familiar. Um... Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. I guess. We'll never find that statue. Which means we'll never leave this port again! Ah! Have I done this part before? I don't I don't remember. Uh yeah. This ship be going nowhere, lasses. Until I find me treasure. Oh dear lord. A priceless artifact from the jungles of the Far East. It's a golden statue in the shape of a monkey it is. I plundered it off of the shrine on my last voyage. And I had planned on selling it in Farthreen. But while harboring in this port, it's gone missing! It couldn't have gone far. But it has to be somewhere in this port. Sure. Uh... <laughs> I definitely remember that, so I must have done this part before. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, even if I have done this part before, I'm going to go ahead and leave this in here, just to help refresh my memory. Uh, sure. Oh, that is truly hilarious. Hey, is this their letter here? No. No, it's betting. Okay. Okie dokie. So, you sold the statue, right? Wait a second. Nope. Nope. There doesn't appear to be anything... Don't go back in. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't think it's on this boat. One of the pirates was saying something about... The innkeeper, though? Uh... Hmm. Perhaps if I... No. No. Okay, um... Hmm. No, um... 
Okay. I'm pretty sure I've done this part before. But I am drawing a total blank here. Yeah. I was talking to the innkeeper. And he was being most unhelpful. Hmm. Oh, I already had it. Okay then. That that would explain it. I ye be sea dogs now with none other than Captain Robert Litchfield. <laughs> no turning back now, lasses. All the men on deck, draw the anchor. Loosen the lines. Okay then. The bloody corsair, the terror of the seas, the captain from hell. R okay then. Sure. We set sail at night into the storm. There was a lull in the rain, and I stepped out on deck while the others waited below. I wanted to look at the ocean in all its beauty and its terror. What a sight! I never knew the sea could be so unsettling. It seems to go on forever. Rain clouds overhead, water spouts in the distance, this doesn't look too good. I wonder indeed. Uh, okay, so this ship appears to have taken some damage. I hope we don't, uh, it, you look like you're good in that regard. I don't know, admittedly, I don't know how many people are on this boat. Mm-hmm. So, um, this is a little bit weird. This right here. Oh, hey, ducats. Yeah, it'd be an uneasy night. Banshees, but it, wait. Banshees are not really an ocean thing. You know, whatever. Don't worry about it. Just, just don't worry about it. Yeah. How? <laughs> I'm both eagle parts amused at Blixen's expense and disgusted at your lecherous face, so I'm just going to walk away now. Probably for the best. You know, for him. Yah, I'd be charged with steering this rig. Uh. Yeah, now that you mention it. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm pretty sure it's not a wheel. Or rather, it's not a steering wheel. Of any de denomination. Ship, ship wheel or otherwise. No? Well, okay then. Yah! What be ye doing in the captain's cabin? Get ye back down below deck. Where your fiddle lasses be waiting. That that feels a little forced. I gotta be. I can totally rest in this bed. Oh wait, no, it's a save point. I mean, save point. Well, it's apparently it's literally a save point. Okay then. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can just. Uh, yeah, I can save right here. Whatever. Oh, that other one must have been the this section. Probably? It's a little weird that they connect like that, but... Ooh, it's a box! Must have box. A bag of supplies is found. What do those do again? Um... 
Okay, it restores tool. Oh wait, has this actually been... Okay. Chancy is good. Hilda is okay. Lixen is a big zero. The dog is an easy sell. Let's be honest. I'd stay down here below deck if I were you. Nice and safe and warm. No telling what dangers lurk on this ocean. There's so many ways to get into the same room. Ah, the high seas. Is there anything like it? The wind in your face? The ever-stretching horizon? <laughs> of course, my dear. Where's your sense of an adventure? <laughs> How dreadful and charming all at once. And here I thought the simple of whose folk were supposed to be hardy sailors. I think she just stealth burned you. Aww. Yeah, she seems to have caught a cold. Yeah, they're definitely not real. I mean, we haven't seen any monsters at all, right? Uh... Hmm. Scary stories are just the best, aren't they? Especially on nights like this. Have you heard of the Wailing Banshee? One time, an old man stumbled upon a pot of gold hidden in an old dead woman's house. He took it, and later did he find out that the spiteful spirit of the dead woman wanted the gold back. So the old man left his home and traveled to the next town over. Every night he could hear the cry of the ghost wailing for her riches back. So he moved again as far as he could. Eventually he came to the sea. He came up with the idea to set out on a boat and actually live out there. The thought. It worked. He finally got a good night's rest without the wailing of the banshee. Until one night, a terrible storm set upon him. A storm just like tonight's. On the tales of the thunder, he could hear it. The banshee's wailing. Then there was a knock at his door. Once, twice, thrice. He stood and went to open the door. And when he opened it, he found. He found. He found. <laughs> Okay then. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I gotta... I gotta side with the sick girl here. Okay, let's go see what the old man wants. Don't tell me. Your pirate ship is also a ghost ship. Because I gotta tell you, I've already seen that. It's called Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, not a bad movie. Actually, the first one at least. Aye, how are you and the other lasses holding up? Good. Good. What is wrong? I figure you should know, eh? My men have spotted things following us in the water. 
I'm afraid not, Missy. You're on Robert Litchfield's ship, and no man alive is brave enough to attack me. Nay, the things be following us are in the water. Hordes of them driving up above the surface as it, they give chase just like dolphins. Ah, the majestic dolphins. Kind of dicks, but so majestic. But these, these are no dolphins. Not nearly as majestic as the majestic asshole dolphin. Ah, well that can't be good. Is it the sea monster? Nay, not a sea monster! That's what it feels like when a hundred bodies grasp the belly of a boat at once and pull upward. Uh, what? He wanted to ride on Litchfield's ship, and he has it! The night's just begun! Uh, so, what the hell just happened? Oh. That's not a good sound. Uh, okay, nothing new. Uh, wait a second. Wasn't that- there's a box covering it! Wait a second. There's... two- Oh, that's why there was the rope up there before, because I went from one mast to the other mast. Okay, that makes sense. Listen, you can hear them through the hall. Is everyone alright? Did some pirate run us into the rock? I don't know exactly. Litchfield, he said something about being followed. I'm pretty sure for the... What was she actually? A baroness? A duchess? Whatever. I'm pretty sure for her I did something like an over-the-top sultry type thing, but I, I don't I, I really don't remember. No, not by any ships. By things. Yes, that would seem to be the implication. Just as long as it's not fish people. I don't think Hilda can handle any more puns. I don't know, I could go for a few more, personally. <laughs> Run for your lives! It's the dead! The dead are walking among us! Huh. That does appear to be a... S okay, um, that looks very different from the pr thing that just presumably stabbed a man in the back. Uh, hmm. Sure, do that. Uh, you can just attack, I guess. Shield bash! There we go. Wait, it took no damage. What? What the hell? Oh, well, we won. Zombie oil? Absolutely disgusting! A zombie from the ocean! That just makes it even more disgusting! I hope there aren't any fish zombies. Uh, that does seem to be the case. You know, that implies a remarkable amount of coordination. I mean, a bloated corpse probably doesn't float too well. Uh, unless it's literally bloated with gas. Uh, but, uh, I, I digress. Um, under the assumption that it's like walking along the bottom, it's not like the boat's bottom is particularly close. They would need to climb on top of each other to reach up and just, like... First of all, that's a bloody lot of zombies. And second of all, that's a lot of well-coordinated zombies. Um, 
Anyway, uh, what the hell is zombie oil? Okay, it's... Okay. Hmm. Wait, is coffee sold for money? No. No, it is not. Right. I think... I think I'll stop off here. So, join me next time when we figure out... I guess when we kill all the zombies. I feel like I've done this before. That's probably nothing. Until then, this is being Let's Play Goddess with Chaos Baloo. And have a great day. Bye!